Hello everybody and uh, welcome back. Uh, it's been a while since I've done my last video, so I'm back with a new series. I've got a lot of suggestions about different videos and, and series and then I quite like uh, starting a new series and particularly the RPG series uh, which uh, got a lot of demand and I'm pretty excited because it's gonna be fun. Enough talking, uh, let's start doing this. The first thing we need to do is create a new project and when we create a new project we make sure that it's meant for 2D. So we select 2D, create the project, we'll land in this page here. Uh, the only thing different here is I changed the name from sample scene to level 1. And uh, the other stuff is I did play around with the packages, which you don't have to worry about this one. I don't like having extra packages that I don't want to use. But again, it doesn't affect as much right now. The second thing is uh, I'm using Unity 2020.3.25. And before we go ahead, I would like to say that if you think I'm speaking too fast or too slow, do play around with the speed of the video because I can't change how I speak. <laughs> okay, um, as I said, we've got the project set up. The first thing we need to do is we need to make sure that we have all the assets. And by assets, I mean graphics. And for that, I did find this asset in here, which is uh, it's a dungeon asset and I really like it and uh, you can use this one you can use other ones if you have you can use whatever you have in your disposal so what I did is you can just download this one and then when you download it uh, make sure to choose the last one 1 1.4 as soon as you download this one you know get you're gonna go ahead and then get it unzip it enter the folder and this is the file that you need it's going to include all the stuff that you want. It's basically a tile set, or you can say an atlas, of multiple elements. So, let's open our Unity project, open this folder. Before we do drag and drop it, we need to create a folder called art. You can call it art, sprites, whatever you want. So let's drag, drop, and here we go. So, before we do anything, let's rename this into atlas. Just to be sure, you need to have these stuff set up. So this image itself, it has to be a texture type of sprite. The second thing is this sprite has to be multiple, not single. So make sure to change it to multiple. And the last one is the filter mode should be point rather than bilinear or trilinear. Because what happens if you scale down the image, it can look blurry. But if you put a point, it's not going to change anything. So it's going to be pixel point. Uh, based on the scaling part. So when you have, whenever you do all these stuff, make sure to click apply. If you click outside, it's gonna prompt you and say, "You done changes you want to apply." So yeah, we apply them. Let's look into it. So when you change these things, you're gonna have a button called Sprite Editor. If you open it, uh, by the way, I made it full screen. By default, I think it comes small. So just make sure to do whatever you want with it. This is what we have. You can zoom in with the scroll and then pan using a middle mouse button. As you can see, we have here the environment, which is walls, flags, broken walls, floors, ladders, um, I would say like pillars, fountains, I think this is water, this is magma, I don't know what the hell is this. Goo, traps, now we have the different type of walls and other elements like doors, and then we have ourselves here, I think these are bosses, where are these are enemies, weapons, items uh, like consumables and treasure boxes with some props I think we have like only two props here but that's no, more than enough and then we got ourselves I think the main characters if I'm not mistaken so um, it depends on you you can choose whatever you want I've been a bit thinking about which one to use but I think I'll, I, I do like the wizards so uh, as you can see it has multiple variations and these variations are gonna be applied as animations later on in the series but so, so far uh, we're gonna use one as the idol I think it has like this idol like he's moving like this or something and then I think these two are the moving 
No, I think this is jumping. Yeah, this is these three are jumping. Moving are this is, these two first idle, and then this is moving. I don't know. Uh, we can look at this later on, but I'm gonna go with the night. You know, I'm gonna go with the night. So before we do anything, uh, I want to show you a, a nice tip. If you click on this button on top right here, it's gonna filter out the transparent with the non-transparent. What I mean by this is everything black is transparent, the, rather, the other one, the white stuff, are not transparent. So let's go ahead and choose this guy here. I'm still confused. Is this standing or this standing? Okay, let's go ahead and choose this guy here the second one I like the second one more oh, you know what let's choose the first one doesn't matter so first of all you need to do this thing uh, click and drag and then when, whenever you, you finish this first one make sure to play around to select the size properly so in instantly like you will close in from all borders as you can see like it flashes from top left, left right bottom this is good but later on when using animations you need to make sure that all these sprites I would say all the sequences have more or less a centralized um, canvas and this is what's called canvas but that will be later on so let's look at this one so we've got this guy his width is 15 his height is 20 that's good let's name him here player and let's put underscore zero just start to go with this one because later on you're gonna have one two three four let's click apply exit when, when you do this you're gonna see that you you can collapse and, and uncollapse the atlas file and when you do, do this you can find the player that you've chosen here it is so to test it you can just literally drop this guy and drop it anywhere in here or in the hierarchy it's gonna put it in the zero zero so let's put it in zero zero Right now, you're not going to be able to see it because it's too small. So if you open the game window, you're going to see it's way too too small. Why? Because, uh, as I said, you need to have a, a specific, uh, what's it called, uh, pixel size for each uh, atlas you have. So depending on the atlas that you have or the elements that you use, and by this one, I mean like here, you see this guy, he's 15 by 20. So that means 15 pixels by 20 pixels you know percent and right now we have the camera and five size in orth orthographic make sure it's orthographic it should be if you set up in 2d so go ahead and make it one what this means is all the sizes in front of you will become I would say uh, corresponded to the camera so if, if this is 16 by uh, 15 by 20 it will actually represent by 15 by 20 but if you put it as 2 will represent 15 by 20 twice so 30 by 40 so make sure to just put it as one and uh, I think that's uh, what we can do right now with this guy so we set up the, the folders we imported the stuff and uh, I forgot to mention the assets that I uh, downloaded I'll make sure to put a link in the, in the description so you can download it as well and then we set up the atlas itself and the camera so with all these set up we've got ourselves a ground a base ground that we can build the game on and we can start by mm, what, what we do like let's let's add more elements there's multiple things that we can start on and I wanted to start on other stuff so uh, let's make sure that we import another character and by this I mean uh, um, enemy, right? Let's make an enemy. I'll go ahead and choose this guy because he looks so cute. Um, let's grab this guy here and call him enemy um, skull or a skeleton. Then zero. That's good. Let's apply. Drag this out. Take this enemy. Put it in here. And make sure to to move it on the right side. So if you move it one, it's gonna move all the way upside. So remember when I said the sizes are exactly as they look in the game. So this guy is um, 10 by 14, where the player is 15 by 20. So 
if you grab this guy, put him at zero, and then increase it by how, how much? 10? Yeah, 0.1. So this is how much you go ahead. Again, this is uh, it might be useless information from you, for you, but you can see maybe it's gonna help later on with our tile set setting. So let's put this guy in here, and the player keep him in the middle. Before we do anything in here, we need to make sure that whenever we work in 2D games, we have what's called layering. And layering is basically what renders before or after stuff, or I would say below and above. Uh, if you work with uh, Photoshop or anything else, you'll see that layers are basically sorted out from the top bottom, or from bottom top, it depends on your project. In Unity, it's actually from the top to bottom. So the top one is basically in the background, and then it renders in front. Similarly happens in numbers, or the layer. So, you can access the layering in multiple places. Since we have the player selected, you can see in the sprite renderer we have something called sorting layers. And if you go here, you're going to see all the layers that you have here. Not the layers, the sorting layers. So, and the other place is if you go here, project, if I'm not mistaken, physics 2D. No, I think I just have outdated information. <laughs> Anyway, it's uh, it's right here, I think. Uh, let, uh, of course, it's right here. So if you click Edit Layers, you're going to go back to the same place. So we're going to have a lot of layers in the game. And uh, in order to, to work properly, you have to put the base properly. So let's start by doing um, the player. So if you go here, you can, again, you can go from here, you can go from here. doesn't matter. So let's go Edit Layers, so Sort in Layers. Let's make this one here called Player. And other things that we need to do is floors. So make floor, and let's keep it as it is because we need to make sure that something that renders in front of others. We're not going to use floor at the moment, but we've got ourselves a player, and let's make enemy. Here we go. That's good. Uh, as far as you can see, enemy will always render in front of the player, but that's fine. So let's go ahead and uh, click on our player choose player and go on the enemy choose enemy so whenever we drag and drop the enemy you can see it's going to go over him it doesn't matter if we make 5 or 0 it's going to be the same uh, you might argue in, in a sense that why we do have to make one for player and one for enemy that's correct so you can you can have one sorting layer and you can have multiple I would say um, levels and by levels I mean this one here order layer which I'm gonna do because why not? So in here, let's make a character. Or you know what? Let's call it uh, yeah, character. Let's keep a character. It's fine. Let's remove this one here. Make here character, and then we choose the character. Here we go again and choose the character. That's fine. You have to make sure that these stuff are only used for sorting. Whereas these layers are used for uh, um, the physics and the, the, the ray casting and all this stuff. So this one we're going to use later on. But i put this one here to show, to show you that in case we want to use, let's say, floor. And we have our player, this character. So if we move the player over the floor, he's going to be always on top of it. I think um, I'm going to move this guy. I think that's everything that we can do for this one here I'm gonna save it so we don't have to lose all the stuff and in the next episode we're gonna start working on the player character or the character or whatever it's called the logic of the movement and that's it for now I hope you enjoyed it if you do please hit the like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one bye bye